Edge. From uh, beautiful Kirkland Lake, Ontario, via uh, downtown, via L.A. Well, I came through Englehart, North Bay, and uh, ended up uh, yeah, in L.A. I Alan missed Fick. the Toronto oh. turnoff. <laughs> Thank you. Did you go? Uh, oh, don't get up. <laughs> uh, great to see you. It's uh, quite the honor to have uh, Mr. Seaver in the house, if you know what I'm saying. Dr. Seaver. Doctor. Uh, yeah. Sorry. You know that you. you know that Julius Irving won't let you get away with Mr. Irving. <laughs> it was Dr. Seaver. Stay at home shrink. <laughs> you must have married one of those. No, I uh, no? no, I'm divorced now. And oh, the, good. He, yeah. he's, yeah. he's, he's seeing one now though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what that's all about yes, though. Yes. Yes. It's, you you, yeah. you had to keep the home shrink. <laughs> I needed one on my way out, but I'm okay now, thanks. You don't look it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so are you in Richmond Hill doing a show? Is that where you're? Is that where you're, you're in town uh, doing? Or you're I am. Uh, we open uh, September 26th, the world premiere of a brand new musical called Queen for a Day. Yeah, and it's this is you. This it is, is your not show. the George Michael story. No, this is. Uh, <laughs> and no, it's not mine. I didn't uh, write it. I had nothing to do. Except I, I will play the uh, the uh, 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 lead character yeah. who is called. Uh, actually, he's not called. It was. A, it's a, based on uh, a real life character, Jack Bailey, who was the host of the first reality show ever. A reality competition giveaway show went on the radio in 1944, and w- then uh, progressed to TV. Was on TV till 1964. It was called Queen for a Day, American network show, and uh, they took uh, ordinary uh, uh, people, housewives, and uh, made them Queen for a Day. Gave them stuff, gifts, made their wishes come true, fantasy uh, time, and uh, an interesting observation not only on the evolution of uh, those kinds of television shows, the genesis of re- reality shows now, but also on the status of women back yeah. then, and how they were regarded, and, and uh, uh, there are uh, racial uh, issues. They never had a black person on the show in the whole in the early uh, years. So, some interesting uh, subject matter, and uh, they've turned it into a fine musical, and uh, I'll do what I can with it. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, it's, so you're still doing, you, you still want to do the theater stuff. You still want to try new stuff, and uh, which is which is great. I mean, I guess No, that's actually, like, not at all. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> No, only because you know, I, I, I this was a very special opportunity, and I thought a terrific show. And yeah. I have family in uh, Toronto. I'll, I'll take any excuse to come back. I love being home. And uh, but uh, no, I played Broadway a few years ago. I played uh, the Billy Flynn role in Chicago, mm-hmm. and then I toured with that for a while. I got immense respect. For gypsies, you know the people who commit themselves to that to that lifestyle, uh, musical theater performers, because it's really uh, a tough discipline, and, and but largely because of the schedule. You know, yeah. you you never see a playoff game, you never have dinner with friends, <laughs> uh, you get Mondays off, and that's the day you travel to the next city that you probably didn't want to be in anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it, it re- and and you do the same thing over and over. It's the precision of musical theater that makes it so appealing too. I think. So. Yeah, it's hard. It's like live, so, anything live. live right? Anything live, live, there's a chance yeah. you could F it up. And, yes. you, you know, I, 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 I highly doubt. You, you seem like a consummate professional. I highly doubt you'll F it up. So that's good news. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best because I, I, I like the project a lot. Like I said, and it gives me a chance to come home. So mm-hmm. uh, that's a win-win. Alan Thick, our guest. He's here for the Joe Carter Charity Classic. Uh, thank you so much. And again, uh, the Richmond Hill Theater. That's uh, do you September have any- 26. Yeah, go see it. It Opening, sounds like it's great. I think it's going to be fine. I think it'll be a lot of fun. If, and I, if I come, will you will you say hi? Uh, I, I will. We have security there. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. When you compass tickets. Yeah. No, you won't. <laughs> Alan, thank everybody. Thanks, Great guys. to see you. I just got to say too, because people can see him perfect hair still. Oh, just this perfect hair still. Perfect and that's hair. all I care about. And it wasted on radio. <laughs> oh, yeah. Said, yeah, that, <laughs> when they said come talk to these guys, I was sure it was video, and you'd uh, catch my gel. Okay. <laughs>